see what we've got in here. Nicely packaged, so we know it's not from Amazon. Right, that's the fourth Fantastic Four omnibus. Let's have a look. So this is the R. Adams cover. I just missed out on the Jack Kirby direct market cover, but uh, that'll be inside because it's just from one of the old comics. This is an interesting cover, there's tons on it. It's a cracking artist. Um, yeah. Spent a fair bit of time having a look at that cover alone. So let's have a look. This completes the Kirby and Lee run of the Fantastic Four. So along with the first three volumes, it has all of their issues. That's kind of all you ever need to read about the Fantastic Four, to be honest with you. Although the, the John Byrne run is, is really good and there are other good runs by other good creators out there, but they're all just kind of like working off the, the good work Stanley and Jack Kirby did with us. It's rather nice. Yeah. It's got the new spine that they're doing, which is somewhat controversial because, well, it's a bit crap really. Badly designed, obviously the product of a marketing department rather than a designer. Uh, so I'll do a, a quick flick through this. You've got, of course, John Romita took over for a few issues once Kirby left. He left in a bad mood, quite rightfully so, and went to DC. And John Bishima comes in, takes over from John Romita, and uh, does some really good, good work on the comic. But it's John Bishima, so of course he does good work on it. But, uh, yeah. Leon Kirby's Fantastic Four. Best adventure comic slash superhero comic ever. You want to know how to put together a superhero comic for all ages? This is what you should be reading. Can you hear the static off of these pages? There they are. All the Kirby work in this issue really is him becoming the Kirby of the 1970s that we all know. Everyone's chunky and beginning to get kind of abstract. Yeah, but I'll just flip through a few of these pages and I'll get it up into the bookcase next to the other three volumes. Yeah, some terrible gutters, as always, with these books. I probably need to loosen up the spine a little bit. I'll do that and then give it a read. Or a reread, I should say, as I've been in a lot of these comics. Again, for the second, third, fourth, and in some cases, fifth or sixth time. Uh, yeah. That's today's delivery. Fourth volume of the Fantastic Four Omnibus. If you suffer from OCD, hang about to the end and I'll give you a bit of a seizure 
when I show you what it looks like in the in the bookcase next to the previous volumes that I've got. Also, it'd be nice if you liked and subscribed if you haven't subscribed already. And join us every Thursday night for the live streams. And there it is in the bookcase, as you can see. Uh, three completely different spine designs. Thankfully, I don't suffer from OCD, so you know, could have been worse. If you do, good luck with your omnibus buying.